I am Luciana Hartwin. Welcome to the Lilith Verse. As always, if you find value here, please share, like, comment, and subscribe. Mabon, honoring the autumn equinox. Paganism 101. As the wheel of the year continues its internal turning, we find ourselves at a pivotal moment. Mabon, the autumn equinox. This special day marks the equal balance of light and dark, a pause between the exuberant energy of summer and the introspective stillness of winter. Just as the farmer gathers the fruits of their labor, Mabon is a time for us to acknowledge our own harvests. It's a moment to appreciate the abundance we've cultivated, be it in our personal lives, relationships, or spiritual journeys. As the days grow shorter and the nights lengthen, Mabon invites us to embrace this change, to find balance and gratitude amidst the shifting seasons. Today, we'll delve into the significance of this turning point, exploring its symbolism and offering ideas for celebration. Let's embrace the spirit of autumn and honor the Earth's bounty together. Maybon, falling around September 22nd or 23rd in the Northern Hemisphere, marks the autumnal equinox, a pivotal moment. Just as the day is divided into equal parts of light and dark, so too is Maybon a time of equilibrium. It's a moment to acknowledge the sun's waning power, its gradual descent towards the horizon. Yet it's also a celebration of the Earth's bounty, a testament to the fruits of summer's labor. This balance is reflected in the very essence of Maybon, inviting us to find harmony between the fiery passion of summer and the grounding wisdom of autumn. As the days grow shorter, casting longer shadows across the land, Maybon reminds us to appreciate the light while it lasts. It's a gentle nudge to prepare for the darker half of the year, to gather our resources, both physical and spiritual, for the journey ahead. Celebrating Maybon. There are many ways to celebrate Maybon. Here are some ideas. Harvest Feast. Enjoy the fruits of the earth's labor with a bountiful meal. Incorporate seasonal foods like apples, pumpkins, and squash into your feast. Decorate with autumnal colors. Bring the beauty of autumn indoors by decorating with warm colors like orange, brown, and gold. Use dried leaves, acorns, and pumpkins to create festive arrangements. Honoring Ancestors As we move deeper into the year, it's a time to honor those who came before us. Create a small altar with photos or momentums of loved ones who have passed. Nature Connection Spend time outdoors, appreciating the changing colors of the leaves. Collect fallen leaves and create beautiful crafts or decorations. A simple Maybon ritual. To connect more deeply with the spirit of Maybon, consider performing a simple ritual to honor the harvest and the balance of the season. You'll need a few simple items. A white candle, symbolizing the waning light of the year. A brown candle, representing the earth and its abundance. Seasonal fruits or vegetables, to offer as a symbol of gratitude. A piece of paper and a pen, for reflection and release. Find a quiet outdoor space, preferably where you can feel a connection to the earth. Begin by lighting the white candle, envisioning the sun's energy 
slowly withdrawing as the days shorten. Light the brown candle, grounding yourself in the earth's abundance and stability. Take a moment to appreciate the balance between these two forces. Feel the warmth of the sun's light and the grounding energy of the earth beneath your feet. This is the essence of Mabon, a harmonious balance between light and dark, between giving and receiving. Now take the piece of paper and pen. Write down a list of things you're grateful for from the past season. It could be anything from personal achievements to the beauty of nature. As you write, visualize the abundance you've experienced, feeling a sense of gratitude and contentment. Once finished, bury the paper as a symbolic offering to the earth, releasing your gratitude and intentions into the ground. This simple ritual is a way to connect with the spirit of Mabon, honoring the harvest and preparing for the changing seasons. Remember, this is just a suggestion and you can adapt it to fit your personal beliefs and practices. Mabon invites us to slow down, appreciate the beauty of the changing seasons and prepare for what lies ahead. As the world around us transforms, so too can we embrace inner change. It's a time for reflection, for gathering the fruits of our labors, both tangible and intangible. Just as the farmer stores their harvest for the winter months, so too can we store the wisdom and experiences gained throughout the year. Honoring this turning point isn't just about celebrating the past. It's about preparing for the future. By aligning ourselves with the natural rhythms of life, we find balance and stability. It's a time to let go of what no longer serves us and to embrace the unfolding mystery of the coming season. Remember, this is just a suggestion. The magic of Mabon lies in your personal connection to it. Feel free to adapt these ideas, incorporating your unique experiences and beliefs. Whether you're drawn to the quiet contemplation of nature or the joy of shared celebration, Maybon offers a space for you to connect with the turning wheel of the year. As always, if you found value here, please share, like, comment, and subscribe. I am Luciana Hartwin. Thank you for joining me today here in the Lilith Verse.